Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Today I wanted to do a video on my skincare routine because I think a skincare routine is majorly important to making your makeup look flawless, to making your makeup look amazing and just having a really good amount of self-confidence because I know that when your skin is playing up, your self-confidence can take a little bit of a dive. So these are just the products that I have found really helped me and I thought it would just be fun to show you in a video today um, basically what I use. And yeah, I'll include some little close-ups of me using the products as well so you can see how I do it. But this has been my skincare routine for basically the last, I'd say the basically the last year if not a little bit more. I'll start off by telling you basically what my skin is like, just so you get an idea and to see if the products would suit you as well. So my skin has been through some ups and downs, definitely not a lot, but definitely some. So when I was 16, my skin broke out really, really badly when I did my first trip to North America. I don't know if it is the North American atmosphere as such, but it happened again later on, but I'll get to that point later. Um, so basically it broke out really, really bad and I came back and I got put on this pill called Isotane, which basically is there to help clear up your skin. I was on that for four months and you like can't drink, your skin gets really dry, your lips get really chapped, but it worked. So that was amazing. I went to a skin like a dermatologist to get that recommendation and it worked and it was fine and everything was good. And from then on I used like Neutrogena because I was quite young, like 16, 17, and it seemed to work for quite a while. Um, my skin was fine up until that point, then just before I moved overseas, which was, shall we say April of 2014, I was using some more natural skincare, I was kind of getting into that, I was using like Manuka honey and everything, but I found that my skin was coming up in sort of like bumps under the skin, not spots, it was just an uneven texture. I didn't know why and then when I got to America I did a Kentucky which was amazing. Um, so that involved a lot of drinking, a lot of bad food eating, which you know doesn't, your skin doesn't like that. So my skin went crazy, it broke out like mad, like I wasn't even used to dealing with that and I was making multiple trips to Sephora because I was asking the ladies there what stuff they would recommend and the problem was I got very mixed sort of recommendations, I tried Murad which was way, way, way too strong for my skin. It was this dark blue range and my skin started peeling when I was in LA. It was just really, really horrible. What else did I try? I think I tried Clinique again because Clinique had worked for me in the past. I used that through university and that was fine um, and that didn't work. So then bad skin, bad skin, got to London, starting like my new life there, I guess. And I was quite self-conscious about it. My auntie told me to try Clarins but I actually went for Kiehl's and I went to the Kiehl's counter she basically did like an assessment of my skin type she did all these little things and she recommended me some products including a sunscreen that was amazing and I bought all the products I think it cost me like $500 New Zealand or something like that so I was prepared to do a big investment in my skin because I really wanted it to turn around so this is what I got and basically I used this for Quite a while, maybe like six months, my skin cleared up, it was fine. I started working at a store called Space NK. I tried a lot of their skincare products because they specialised in like luxury skincare. So that was fine, I was going through that, but eventually I came back to this after about maybe six months. And then since then, till now, love it, absolutely love it. So the first product I'm going to talk to you about, this is the Kiehl's Centella Skin Calming Facial Cleanser. It is dermatologist tested to gently cleanse sensitive skin. And so it has aloe vera, chamomile, and centella azidica. I don't know how you say that. That's really awkward. I'm sorry, I've totally mispronounced that. Um, so basically this says it is a gentle soap-free facial cleanser which has been specifically formulated to address the particular skincare needs of the sensitive skin. Well centella, the word I can't say, Aloe vera and chamomile extract our pH balance formula cleanses the skin and effectively removes makeup residue and impurities while helping to avoid the irritation common to sensitive skin. So, this is amazing. Um, I can't remember, I think it's $60 New Zealand. I get it off Fresh Cosmetics. I'll put the link down below. And I love this stuff. It's very gentle. It's not stripping. I can use this on my eyes. So often I will leave my mascara on my eyes because I don't really want to tug at it with my makeup remover. And if I just lather this up with a bit of water 
it really gets the um, product off. So it's super gentle. If I've got a lot of makeup on, like potentially today, I will do a double cleanse. But I love this so much. It's very good for sensitive skin, which I think is what I have. Not hypersensitive, not super sensitive, but I don't think I get on well with um, the more natural skincare. And if it is too active, I'll often get like a rash. So in my opinion, I just stick to Kiehl's. I love Kiehl's. I love their products. So I just repurchase all the time. This is about my third or fourth bottle. It's amazing. So after I've done my cleanse, I always follow it with my Clarity Activating Toner, also by Kiehl's. But this is from their Clearly Clear... Blah, blah, blah. This is from their Clearly Collect. I just need to like take a moment. This is from their Clearly Corrective White range. Man, tongue twister. So it says the Clearly Corrective White Regime is clinically demonstrated to help reverse notable skin discolorations and help restore hydration levels for an overall improvement in skin clarity. With activated C, white birch, and peony. This stuff is awesome. It, again, it is very gentle. I've only gone through two bottles of this because I literally use the smallest amount. I just, I don't actually use a cotton pad because I feel that it wastes a lot of the product. So I'll show you in a clip, but I just take a little bit on my fingers and then I just pat it into my skin after I've cleansed my face. And cleansing my face, I always use a sort of like a face cloth just to do a gentle exfoliation, but also to make sure all the product is removed. And then following on with this, it just works amazingly. A high performance clear toner gently retexturizes as it infuses skin with hydrating actives for noticeably cleaner, noticeably cleaner and softer skin. Formulated with the latest generation potent whitening complex of activated sea, white birch and peony extracts, this clarifying toner works as part of the clearly corrective regime to visibly diminish persistent dark spots and discoloration while illuminating the skin for a significantly brighter complexion. I totally agree that this does help brighten your complexion. I love it. I think it's very gentle, nothing too harsh, not like um, some of the Clinique toners I found were a little bit high in alcohol for me and they did dry my skin out a little bit, but I feel like this is a hydrating toner. No joke. Love it to death. So for spot issues, I will use, this is the Cloud9 Skin Solutions. It is the Clarity Skin Caring. Guys. I apologize. <laughs> the Clarity Skin Clearing Spot Gel. It's like being put on the spot and I get like nervous that I can't read. I have quite a few tubes of these and I'm so glad. I don't know where you can get it from in New Zealand. I'll have a Google and I'll put it into the um, description box below if I can find somewhere. But this stuff is amazing. It's very calming. It's very relaxing. I don't like anything too stringent or too drying. So this is amazing on top of the spot. If it's just coming up, it helps to reduce sort of like the inflammation. But also if your spot is open or if you've like touched it, you know, we say we don't, but we pretty much do. This will make it go down significantly overnight. I really, really love it. All right, so my last step most days um, is using a moisturizer. Now, I really do like the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Oil, but I ran out and I haven't got around to repurchasing it. It's quite expensive. It's at least $100 I think and I really like that in the winter time because I find it penetrates a lot deeper than a normal moisturizer. My skin does get a lot drier over winter so I used to use that every night and then I'd use this moisturizer in the daytime but at the moment I'm just double using this um, morning and night. So this one is the Centella Recovery Skin Salve and this is clinically demonstrated to soothe temporarily irritated and sensitive skin with tiger herb and aloe vera. This stuff is like, I know that people use the term ride or die, legit ride or die. I love this stuff. It's a beautiful one to make up. You've probably seen me using it in some of my tutorials before I do my makeup because it just is amazing. I've always got this on before I do a tutorial. This is beautiful. I've used it on quite a few people with makeup as well and it's worked really well for them. It's my favorite. And like I said, I worked at Space and K. Like I've tried a lot of the skincare and still, Kiehl's is my number one. So in the summertime, and I really should do this every day, but I'm running pretty low, I need to get another one. This is the Kiehl's Ultralight Daily UV Defense SPF 50 PA++++ UVA. Helps protect against pigmentation irregularities 
and premature skin aging. We all know about that. The sun is not our friend in terms of skin aging. I know that and this, like even this by itself, I've taken this on multiple like Europe sort of summer vacation sort of things where the sun has been very strong, especially like Greece and Turkey and Italy and this just does not burn your face. Like I will come back from holiday and usually my face does not match my body. And I'm not upset about that because I use this, it's SPF 50, amazing. You know, you do have to reapply it like with any sunscreen every two hours for it to remain like effective. But this is amazing, it protects your skin, it's gonna help you not develop wrinkles from the sun when you're on holiday or just in the summer in general. And oh, it's brilliant. I think it actually makes your skin look better even if you're wearing it just by itself. I feel like it's like a filter for my skin and that it looks even more amazing, so that's a bonus. I also reckon, don't quote me on this because I don't know if it actually does or it's just in my head, I reckon this helps with spots. If my skin is not being very good in my books and I'm wearing this under my makeup, I feel like it helps, like I feel like my skin heals faster. I don't even know if that's possible, but that's my feeling towards this. It's brilliant, I'm definitely getting one of these because I don't know if I've told you that I'm going away soon and it's going to be summer. I'm so excited. I'll tell you near the time where we're actually going. For eye cream, I am a big believer in using eye cream, but because I'm still quite young, only 23, I don't believe I need, at my age, a really strong sort of anti-aging skincare under eye cream because I don't have any wrinkles under there yet. So my main focus, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, is that I really want to keep the under eye area very hydrated, very nourished, so that it's harder for the wrinkles to develop purely from like dryness. Obviously expression lines and everything like that will come, but for that I really love the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. Um, I've actually finished the punnet and this is the 28 gram one. Now I bought this when I was in Norway around about, should I say late September and it's lasted me until now. So what's that? October, November. It's about seven months this has lasted me, which is brilliant. It was a lot cheaper over there. So again, when I go overseas, I'm going to buy some more. Okay, got two more products to go. So this one, this big baby over here, I have just ordered a new one. This is the new one. It is the Bioderma. This is in French, but it is basically the sensitive um, makeup removing micellar micellar water, is that how you say it? I don't know. I used to use the blue one which is for dehydrated skin but it's really annoying because it only comes in the small 250 mils and it's about the same price as this one so I've been using this one. It's amazing, I put this on cotton pads, I take my makeup off with it every night. It's very gentle, it just does the job amazingly. It's really good to have in your makeup kit as a product because a lot of people can use it. And when I go overseas, I'm going to stock up like mad because this was $42. And I remember when I was in France one time, I got two for 19 euros, which is approximately $40. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that and I'll probably come back with like five or six bottles. And they're going to think I'm like some weird importer, but it's purely for my face. The last product I want to talk about is another brand I really, really like. Again, I worked with them at Space NK and they were a lovely, lovely brand. And this is the brand Omaravitsa and it's from Budapest. And what I want to show you today is their copper peel. Now I'm pretty sure the box you get comes with maybe eight pairs, so this is just one pair. I will say it is expensive, but it's awesome, and you get about four uses from this duo. So if you go four times eight, that's like a lot of uses, you know per box and it's amazing so this one here is the copper peel it is the paste it has a slightly grainy texture not super grainy it's like a souffle with a little bit of sand a little bit and you put you basically break off the top it's resellable so you put the lid back in there you rub all over your face avoiding your eye area I rub it down the center of my nose like a nice gentle exfoliation and then once you've done that you come along and you apply some of the copper peel activator Again, a different formula. You can see it is quite goopy. And you massage this in, it sort of like mixes together and becomes a little bit foamy. You just massage it everywhere you want. Now, I'm gonna have to find some more information on this and I'll put it down below. 
I can't remember how long they say to leave it on for, but I personally only leave it on for a maximum of three minutes. One time I was watching a YouTube video and I left it on for like 10 and I got a little bit of a rash because again I have sensitive skin, but this is amazing. If you're wondering what a copper peel is, it's almost like a very lightweight chemical peel. Difference between a chemical peel or a chemical exfoliation and a normal exfoliation is that a physical normal exfoliation requires some sort of bead, some sort of grit, you know, that texture and you're literally kind of scrubbing at your skin to remove that layer of skin or to remove the dead skin, shall I say. A chemical exfoliation or a chemical peel or a copper peel, you apply it to your skin and it's got like a chemical reaction. I don't know the specifics, but basically it kind of like eats away at the dead skin, so there's no scrubbing, there's nothing like that. And then once I wipe it off with a face cloth, it just leaves your skin so smooth. Like so smooth that I did it yesterday and then this morning I was like, Mum, touch my nose, isn't it soft? She's like, oh yeah, what is that? And I was like, it's the copper peel, I'll give you one to try. Like even she wanted to try it, so that is amazing and that is how I do my exfoliation. I do that every two weeks, so maybe like every second Sunday. I had a few spots, like I've got three spots at the moment. Little buggers. And I use that to help just like kind of deal with them. That is my little skincare family. I hope my voice wasn't too annoying because I do have a cold or I'm getting a cold, so I sound either extra kiwi or just extra nasally at the moment. So, yas, don't judge me. Yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you liked the video and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, recently I've been picking up quite a few pieces of online shopping. So I thought I would kind of do like a little video to show you what I bought because it is very not me. Um, it's 